and as you can see they're scared it's not their normal attitude this flew away I need to dress this before we I'm um, sorry before we leave and I cannot unfasten this because they really fastened with a conscience so I'll try to uh, find a ladder and uh, assemble it here somehow and they're scared oh god kilometers per hour right now now I'm here to shelter because today the girl that needs to come here couldn't make it cannot make it and of course little furries they don't understand as we don't understand can you see how my car is moving either about weather conditions so I'm gonna clean them feed them spend a little time with them then leave and start my day and well the rest of unfortunately the rest of you guys or the majority of you guys are boiling in the northern hemisphere in this town 17 degrees good morning july you guys we're at the roof where i it's all the, the stuff that i cleaned where i assembled the patio set and i need to show you this do you hear the wind let me flip the camera. Let me flip the camera. So this is an older house and so the windows are wooden as you can see. But it's not a simple window. There's a system that I will not open now. But there's a window I don't know if you can see. There's the Persian and then there is another window that you can open in this direction sideways both ways and then yeah, as I told you, the Persian and the older window that we kept in here, they kept. So it's, it's a double window. Eventually, I might need to change and, you know, reassemble it all and put new windows, even though the wooden frames are cuter. But I put this last night, mind you, this and this. Look what the wind did to my windows. And this is the second window. It broke the glass in here and also here. This is crazy. And I put some weight and something to stay, but still it broke the glass because this wall is against the direction where the wind blows. So in the winter time, we have some days that we have this 100 kilometers per hour and more wind storms, but in the summertime it's very unusual. Um, it enters by, with, by the crevices, I don't know how, but it enters in here. And while the majority of the northern hemisphere is boiling, like roughly an hour away, two hours away from here, they are having temperatures of uh, 44 degrees Celsius and up so 100 Fahrenheit and up. Um, in here, we're having temperatures of 17 degrees Celsius, which I don't complain at all about the temperature. I prefer this to the 44, but in exchange, I guess because of the atmospheric pressure, is that how you say that in English? Uh, we have this crazy windstorm, like mad wind. Step one, this is gonna be Big Ben, this regard, it was a penguin. It was gonna be a painting of a penguin, but then I realized that I wanted to do Peter Pan. And so this is a big pan. That's the full moon. And here's gonna be Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Wendy, and a baby. So, step one of the canvas staining is done. Now I have the skeleton of the painting um let's just disregard the mess just compare the moon here <laughs> i mean this is a sketch also but you get the gist you get the gist yeah this is my iron table disregard the mess anywho now i'm waiting for it to dry and from this i'm going to start building up into the actual painting now 
I have to stop painting. This, of course, this is gonna change. This is gonna be all seamless. This is, as I, as I told you, the skeleton. This is a pearly white going on to yellow. And here comes the tricky part. You have to be really careful. Now you cannot add anything else because otherwise the blue and the yellow would touch, become green. We don't want a green moon. So now we wait. Then we added cyan. Then we added a little bit of red. So created the purple and just a lentil size amount of black because it's pitch black in the night. So, y'all, taking a break while the painting dries. It's windy, what else can you do? I was watching um, this new show on Netflix. Well, it has two seasons, new for me. Um, it's, I think you should leave. I think you should leave. It's in English. It's hilarious. You should watch that. It's very, it's a hum it's a different kind of humor. Uh, if you're into it, it's enjoyable. I was doing this. And I was falling asleep, I don't know, the weather, two coffees, no can do. Um, yeah, can you see? I went outside to purchase uh, some stuff and um, it's windy and I'm sleepy. Hey, you want to learn Catalan, not Spanish, but Catalan, which is the language that I use on a daily basis and we use around here. So I'll teach you how to say, very useful, <laughs> I'm sleepy. So in Spanish, you all know it would be tengo sueño. And in Catalan, it's way easier, so, and shorter. And this is kind of weird, but it's shorter than in English, which is awkward because usually English has shorter words, but it's ting son. So T-I-N-G-S-O-N. I am sleepy. I have a sleep. The literal translation would be so. If you want to say in Catalan once again, I'm sleepy, you would say ting son, ting son, ting son. How does it sound to you? It sounds awkward, right? But it's ting son. Once again, slower, ting son. So basically, me right now to say I'm sleepy, which is all I came here to say, I guess, is like ting son. That includes me, the verb, it's everything. Yeah, things on. <laughs> but I really, but I really am sleepy. Oh God. So, let me approach now. This would be, again, this is going to take another form in a few and whatnot. This is starting to be a pearly white. This moon needs to be more. And more and, and it's going to be more and more defined as you can see and more and more diffu the diffused the corners <laughs> i feel like the weather the weather people you know that they're yeah they're pointing to things that they cannot see but i'm seeing it through the camera and now we let it sit once more Oh yeah, and so far, this is the only brush, synthetic one, that I've been using. This is the water that I used to um, dilute the colors, because I diluted the colors big time. So, so it runs faster and uh, thinner layers. Anyway, it's a whole story. And this is, this tray is my favorite palette in the whole world. Sue me, I prefer this to a real palette. And it works for me, so whatever. So, another layer down. I started drawing the sketch of the clock, clock tower. I modified the tower because in painting the moon, I lost some. So here's the tower actually, Big Ben's tower. And uh, obviously modifications just to left and right. This is a different levels also in real life so this is why it's done this way so you have to envision this in this direction so it's starting even though it doesn't look like to take shape now the moon it's taking its shape it's the moonlight uh, now it's we don't get sunlight so you cannot see the reflection but it's the white the pearly white then some more white moon moonlight 
And as you can see, how am I speaking? The moonlight, and then I paint it just to make it as it is, as real as possible, the shadows that the seas of the moon create on the moon, in this case, yellow or so. If you go real nearby, it would be this. But from a distance, there's the moon. And as you can see, when you look up in a bright full moon night, you see this little, um, I say it out, stains, right? Which is the seas. And this is what I did in here. So it's taking shape. Okay, now I really need to take a break. The day that I'm gonna have to draw Peter Pan, Valerian root. And now I really need to go change, freshen up, and uh, I'm headed to a funeral. <laughs> it's a distant relative, but still, um, she was old. She made it to 91 years old, so she had a good life. But, you know, when, I don't know, I don't know, man, whenever I have to go to a funeral, I really get really sad and nervous and it really makes you think that we're here just for a moment and that sometimes we're not making the best of every second that is gifted to us. And I don't know. Well, it's taking shape. Good morning, internet. Next time I decide to start painting things in black for babies, night lines, landscapes, and whatnot, fairy tale paintings, stop me dead in the tracks, made me go get that onesie. <laughs> this black is gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, now we're in it and I'm going to do this, but you know, I think at this point it would be simpler to paint a realistic painting that um, emulate Walt Disney. <laughs> you live, you learn. So here's a silhouette. My oh my, next time, I don't know, but yeah, basically here's a silhouette, um, now I'm gonna just, I just drew this, of course, not with, directly with paint, but I just did the silhouette, I just drew the drawing, like, with, um, pencil, what do you use, <laughs> to do paintings, and here's the clock, Big Ben, I know it's not perfect, like, this circle should be like this, but I did it on free hand, it's not done with a compass or anything, and it shows in here, mostly. But yeah, this is how it's, it's evolving. We'll see. Now all the details are left to do, so we'll see about that. Keep on going. And now we have all the stardust. And time to do a second layer on the Peter Pan and Wendy and the Lost Boys, Tinkerbell. And then finish all of this and I'll think, I think I will be done. And uh, I call this a wrap. I mean, don't look for perfection. <laughs> I am not a Disney character. Um, I mean, Disney would never hire me, but I did my best. This is for Baby Girl. I hope they like it. And I hope I capture the scene. I'll make it see all the starry night. Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Wendy. Neverland. The moon. And one down. <sighs> That's a wrap. Do you like it? 
Good morning, Internet. It's 7.07 <laughs> on the clock uh, as I arrive here at the shelter. I have painting. I finished the painting last night and um, this is Cookie's Bite. Anyway, and I'm here bright and early. Um, I wish I could have slept, you know, a little bit longer, but here we are. Today is the release date of Sob Rock, and to my surprise, I woke up 6 a.m. and um, there it is on my. Uh, I haven't received a physical copy, but there it is on my iTunes um, new album. And so I started playing as I was having my breakfast. And <clears throat> other than the releases that he already had released, John Mayer. John Mayer from Sub Rock. I'm talking about as if everybody knows what Sub Rock is. Sub Rock is the new album by John Mayer. Anyway, uh, and I've listened to it. You know, it's 40 minutes, 39 minutes to be exact. Long and um, a new favorite, other than the previous releases, is Till the Right One Comes. And it comes a time, there comes a time, I mean, like, I feel like he sings about uh, really universal feelings. But at the same time, throughout John's career, and parallel through my personal experience, I wonder if we split in two and it's the same person in, <laughs> in another body or something like that at times. As I was listening till the right one comes. And it was like exactly my motto, you know, exactly what I've been trying to say, um, exactly what I've been trying to say for the past year. And um, I couldn't agree more. I love the lyrics. I love the music. I have to, <coughs> sorry, allergies. I have to sit down and listen it, listen to it properly, calmly. But now I'm here to shelter because uh, before starting my day, I still have to go to another place. Well, it's in the early morning appointment to finish this root canal. Good lord! And um, and yeah. Oh, oh my god. And having said that, uh, right now I'll enter the shelter. We will walk. We will go on a little walk uh, with some of them. Not hike today because I don't have the time for that. I have to be uh, in an hour and some and, s and some change. I don't know. Uh, I have to be back home, jump into the shower, you name it. Sure enough, a breath. But now as we enter the shelter, if they calm down... Uh, we'll see how they feel about the new release of uh, Sub Rock. See if they like it. See if they dig it. Oh, Gordon, how do we feel about Wild Blue? We like it. So I carry all of this here. Cookie, good morning. How are we feeling about it? This is Wild Blue. Oh, they dig it. They lay down. You enjoy John Mayer, don't you? <laughs> Say, dogs from the shelter also enjoy John Mayer. Hey, you guys, you got good taste in music. See? Relaxing. Is it cookie approved, John Mayer? I bet it is. Look at the tail. Oh yeah, she's vibing to it. <laughs> Premier. See, she's digging it. <laughs> Good morning, internet. Okay, <laughs> people on the streets. Good morning, in the internet. It's Saturday again. Today I am testing my limitations. I can paint on oil, I can paint on acrylics, I, I can paint with oil, acrylics, uh, gouache, you name it. I majorly suck at watercolor and my new endeavor is to paint a watercolor baby unicorn, baby unicorn or a baby girl. So I guess what I'm gonna do, I, I don't guess, what I'm going to do actually, you now people looking at me, uh, is test it on rock paper, as long as it takes, how, however much it takes, 
over tries I need to do um, I'll do it and do it and do it all over again up until I'm satisfied and if I decide that even then I'm not happy with the result we'll just move to acrylics that I'm super comfortable with it if it's in it for me to me it's very easy to work with that but I think that with watercolor would be prettier softer more subtle more the vibe that I'm going for so this is what I'm gonna do today this fine Saturday so. hello YouTube finally civilization Delta variant we we'll still have to wear the face masks oh sorry and this Tuesday I'm getting the first shot I think it's gonna be Pfizer so we'll see how it works but yeah we'll see we'll see still with the allergies and whatnot see how my body reacts but it feels so great to be in a city for a change you know change of scenery of same old same old anywho as i told you it's all memories this is why this is why i wanted to change altogether uh places because this city is where i used to live before covid and um, you've been be, be, with me here with so many times on other vlogs, but it brings back memories. And um, some of them are good, but some of them are, very few of them are bad. And some of them are bittersweet, so it's like, oh, you know, I don't know. But still, either way, it feels refreshing. Uh, for once in a while to yeah to change to see people see cars see buildings see all those things that also light me up you know it's a Sunday and uh, everything's closed but still you know still anywho either way it's gonna be a fun day because finally I'm headed to a building I'm stopping here just for privacy I mean who cares anyway I'm finally meeting my nephew <laughs> after all this COVID madness. He was born in October and I haven't been able to see him. And also my cousin who left Columbus, Ohio, and uh, I was going to be here in Europe because, I mean, <laughs> he felt pretty much isolated, you know, in the US and he wanted to visit his family. So now you can come travel finally <laughs> from I think not from Canada, but from the States for sure, to Spain. I still cannot commute because I still haven't got the shots, but hopefully soon. <laughs> and hopefully by the time that you're going to see this, I will have the shot in me. Cross your fingers, I don't get a fever. I hope not. And it's going to go up on Tuesday, so <laughs> that's going to be it. But it's beautiful in here. Well, not here, but in there. There's a huge park with palm trees, but I'm headed to the building. Meet the new family. So yay! Anyway, outfit of the day here, face mask in my back. And just like that, I got my first vaccine. I got the Pfizer, or as they call it in here, the elderly the Pfizer, as Michelle Pfeiffer. Now going home, take a paracetamol and take some, get a rest or something. See how it reacts. Hopefully good. Now, <clears throat> it's late at night. Well, it's almost midnight. And I came as every night outside just to watch the moon, the stars, as I do. And I saw my her neighbor, Arya, the owners, I, the owners died of age, and the son of the owners come to visit her on a daily 
they take her on walks and whatnot, but mainly, sadly, she spends a lot of time here. Or down there, where I go and pet her and uh, give her a little treat at times, but now she's kind of sad. If you can see her, poor thing. But I wish I could adopt her. Day three of my first Pfizer COVID vaccine. Get the vaccine, they said. It's gonna improve your immune system. My immune system said. What the hell is wrong with you, Elena? And here we are. <laughs> Creepy, scary AF. And this is only the first shot. And the second one? On my birthday. Oh yeah. So much for the summertime, huh? <sighs> anyway. Closing the vlog here, I guess I'll just stay home and uh, get well. In the meantime, love you, see you.